Good morning, friends. It's Jen. It's about 7 in the morning on Tuesday the 22nd. Came in here to check my plants. And I need to harvest again more. I need to harvest more basil. It's growing like weeds. Let's see here. So, hope everyone's gardens are doing good. I think I'm going to grab it from down here today. It's a big pile of basil. Another. Okay, so now I'm going to save maybe a cup or two to make pesto, my favorite. And then the rest, most likely I'm going to dehydrate. Dehydrate and give it a rough chop and use it for seasoning throughout. And I'm going to, after I get this taken care of, I'm going to go ahead and sow some more basil seeds because they definitely love the warmth. They love the heat. They really are thriving in the heat. So let's see. I need about at least one cup for some pesto. Love pesto. Mm. Love the smell of basil. Every time I bump into the basil as I'm checking on the squash or something, just the aroma of the basil is so beautifully and so strong. I wonder if you can make lemonade with a hint instead of putting mint putting basil that's interesting <laughs> tell you the truth i could probably put this in some kind of a netting or on a tray and put it out in the sun and the sun will probably dry it up within a few hours probably maybe less it's been so hot here Right now, right now we're having a break from the heat wave. I mean, we are still in the low 90s and it's still hot, but it's nothing compared to like being over the hundreds. You can really feel it. You can have everything closed in the house and nice and dark and you can tell when the, um, when the heat just gets so hot house starts to feel like you're slowly the ovens being turned on in the house so okay I'm gonna keep doing this until it's full and we'll make some pesto okay I got two trays full Have another one prepared here just gonna drop in sprinkle some seeds lightly okay so that's done okay, so I think I'm gonna sow some some seeds here with this basil plant
nice and dehydrated. Oh, it actually looked like a lot when when I was placing it on the dehydrator and it's shrunk so much that it's not that much which tells me I'm gonna need to plant more basil I want to make Italian seasoning too so I do have rosemary and I do have oregano I need marjoram and I need thyme so I'll probably go to the nursery and uh, pick up a couple of plants and pick up a couple of envelopes of of those some seeds Don't want it like powder, just want it. Let's take a look. Yeah, like flakes. That's how I want it. More like flakes than powder. All right, friends, so here it is. This is all the dried basil I was able to get. So it looks to me that what I want to have stored up, I'm going to need to sow a lot of seeds and plant a lot of basil. All right, friends, I thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video, which will be pesto, basil pesto. Okay, thanks for watching, friends.